It's a beautiful day for racing here at the Glen, where you join us for six hours as 50 teams fight to win it all. That's right, Patrick. And laying down in the low place of 33rd, the number five Porsche must fight through slow traffic in order to reach their goal. We are just moments away from the green flag. Hard right, it's hard right. For lap one, that was really crazy, but we had to stay focused. As one driver puts it in the fence. After that incident, it was about my time to hop in the car for my first stint. Alright, I'm gonna be boxing in this lap. This was a scratch, but I'll pass him back. Lance is losing control and he is gonna stuff that car into the wall. A very hard hit for that number five machine. He's gonna have to bring it down pit road with that damage. I'm going to be in the pits for a really long time after that one. After seven minutes in the pits, the number five car is bringing it back out. I saw it happening like five seconds before he actually started spinning. <laughs> I just didn't react. <laughs> With rain coming in soon, I need to pit anyway so I can do a driver swap with my teammate. The rain is
is here. And exiting the pits now is Zack in the number five. That team is going to need a miracle to get their positions back. Once again, it is already my turn to go back out, but this time, it's in the rain. Lance is on his outlap right now. Oh, wow! Oh, no. Looks like it hydroplaned, and that's a hard hit in the wall. That is not what this team needs right now. Those damages Lance has chosen to not pit. I don't think that's a good idea. It appears Lance has done it again with another hard hit into the wall. There's no way he's going to keep going with all of this damage. I had to keep going even with the damage. We couldn't afford to lose any more positions. Only 30 minutes left in the race. It's all about staying consistent and safe now. 